Well, for all of 2016 and most of the three years since then, Hillary Clinton has been begging America to just forget about her emails. The use of uh, my email account was uh, turned into, you know, the biggest scandal since Lord knows when. They covered it like it was Pearl Harbor. This week, though, weirdly, Clinton appears to be reversing course in the strangest way possible. On Tuesday, she appeared at an art exhibition in Venice, Italy. The exhibition features a copy of the Resolute Desk, the one from the Oval Office, with a printed stack of all the emails recovered from her private server. Hillary Clinton spent an hour at the exhibition, sitting down to read her emails, and then declaring them, quote, boring. But it wasn't boring. It was weird as hell. And that's why we picked up the red phone and called Mark Stein, brought him here to explain what just happened. Mark, what do you make of this? Well, I think, as Bernie Sanders said, uh, whatever it was now, four years ago, uh, I'm sick to death of your damn emails. Uh, that was the point, by the way, I think that Bernie uh, lacked, uh, lost the Democrat nomination because it showed that, unlike Trump with low energy, Jeb, he lacked the killer instinct. I think everybody... I think Bernie's right, though. Other Democrats are sick to death of your damn emails. Uh, so Hillary turning herself into a piece of performance art and actually going to the Venice Biennale in Italy uh, and sitting behind a replica of the Oval Office desk uh, with every single printout of all her extant emails. And, and the point to remember about this, Tucker, is she actually called the Venice Biennale and said, oh, I happen to be in the neighborhood. I don't know whether that means she was in uh, Monte Carlo or Albania or wherever it was. And can I come and be part of it? That, that shows a woman uh, who simply refuses to get off the stage, no matter how many hooks they try to pull her off with. It does seem a little strange, because even her husband, who you know, famously loved affirmation and human contact to the point where you know, he exposed mm -hmm. himself completely, even he has kind of receded from the public view and is, in effect, retired from public life. Hillary Clinton, you'd think, would be with her grandchildren. Why is she doing this? Well, I think... I don't think she's given up on uh, somebody picking up the phone after a couple months more of debates. Uh, Joe Biden is sagging, yes. is uh, lifeless. He, he's a front-runner who nobody's enthusiastic about. In other words, he's exactly where she was four years ago. Uh, now, exactly. at, this, at this stage, Hillary is dreaming that they'll say, oh, we need you to come back, Hillary. Third time's the charm. Uh, we're all desperate for you. We're waiting for you. She's got a book out, uh, that, again, uh, that's been timed to release with the start of the presidential season. She's sucking... She's happy when she's sucking up uh, Biden's airtime and Bernie's right. airtime and L Elizabeth Warren's and that's the, exactly however, right. the 27 dwarves who are left in. Uh, and, Can, and that's why she's doing it. She still dreams so, the call you, is going to come. You're totally right. And I don't know why I hadn't thought of that, but it's, it's clearly true. Mark Stein, great to see you tonight. Thank you for that.